Greetings, everyone. I am Lotus Prince, and for this Let's Play, we are going to tackle Obscure for the PS2. This is a Patreon-requested Let's Play, so it is a viewer's choice. Obscure is a very interesting title. It's classic survival horror on the PS2, where you play as multiple students at a high school who discover that things have gone horribly wrong. There are mysterious creatures about, people are disappearing. What are we going to do about it? Well, we're going to have to fight with our wits and with our teamwork and weapons. This game is co-op capable, but I'll be playing it by myself. But one thing that's kind of cool about it is that you can swap between the two main students you're controlling instantly, even faster than Resident Evil Zero, actually, which I found was pretty interesting. This game's not as HD looking as Resident Evil Zero. I know GameCube wasn't true HD, but HD looking. But still, your ability to switch is just instant. It's great. Also, one thing I didn't see coming is the music of this game is fantastic. It, it particularly stands out. Not only that, featuring music by Sum41 and Span, it's pretty rad. So let's go take a look at this glorious presentation of survival horror where the students you control represent your lives. Let's see who could make it out at the end. Let's go crazy. Oh look, it's the title of the game. Now I know I'm in the right place. Okay. Dolby Surround. Alright, we just go right in. What is bonus? Music. Just immediately? No kidding. I guess we're done here. <laughs> and triangle goes back. I'm so used to circle going back that every once in a while I go to a PS1 or PS2 game and triangle is back and it feels weird. So anyway, options, brightness... Ah, I was afraid of that. I really dislike it when the brightness settings are nothing. And like, adjust your TV's brightness settings. Alright, buy button settings though. This is going to be important. So weapons inventory and objects inventory. R2L2. The music's swelling though. R1 locks L1 flashlight boost. That sounds a little familiar. Square is your unique ability. Triangles cancel. I'm really going to have to remember that. Circles change player. X is use or shoot when aiming. So R1 plus X. Analog, select a weapon, I guess from a weapons inventory, so hold R2 and move the stick around. And the left stick is select an object, hold L2 and move the stick around, but otherwise it's just move. Whereas the R stick is aim. Documents is select, start is just plain pause. And then teammate instructions, I can actually command my AI teammate, although this game is capable of two-player co-op. So that's on. Apply change, please. We're already saving data. We're already taking our sweet time saving data. Jeez, all I did was turn the subtitles on. Okay, I was gonna say, are you going through every dialogue in the game? Let's do a new game. Easy, normal, or hard? I can't even do hard. But I wouldn't anyway. Let's do normal, please. Let's see what happens. 
Oh, no way. The light of the flashlight grows as it loads. That's kind of cool. I'll take it. Microids presents, or MC2 Microids. A cop production, Hydra Vision. What is that, the school bell, or is it the fire alarm? So oh. We're getting a full-on song here. I did not expect this. But this looks pretty gorgeous. The floor is even reflective. Look at that. They polished the gym floor. Yeah, this is alright. Kenny. Nice shot. Josh. He's just watching. Okay, there we go. Stan. So, never mind. Josh is just watching. But Stan's got the dribbling prowess. Shannon. I haven't seen the name Shannon in a video game in a while. Like what, God Hand? Oh, and someone's recording hey, Josh, this. Get out of our way. But I've got to finish up my story on the basketball team for the paper. Yo, dog, Kenny, chill out, man. Leave him alone. Come on, let's hit the showers. Josh just gets right up in their grill for his story. <laughs> he just walks onto the court. Time it is? You said you were coming home early. I said that to mom and dad, not to you. <sighs> it's always the same story with you. I know why you don't want to come home. Kenny. We finally get rid of mom and dad, and you think I'm gonna sleep at home? Wait, Shannon. I'll go with you. No, that's quite all right. You just go. Let's beat it, Kenny. Are you sticking around? Yeah, I'm gonna shoot a few more baskets. Okay, whatever. Catch you later. <laughs> okay, whatever. Nothing but net. No, okay, but very good shot. It was me. I was Kenny. Okay, so it's 2D movement, not 3D. And I, I guess I always run. And I'm Kenny. So I have to do the most important thing in video games. Yes! Uh, okay. There we go. Reality has set in. I like that pressing X doesn't even, like, just pick up the ball, it just goes straight to shooting it. Also, I'm a freaking crack shot with that basketball, so that's pretty rad. This is kind of an eerie setting by itself. I'm just alone in this giant, dark gym. I mean, I know, being alone at school, classic horror setting. Also, I like that we're doing the Silent Hill thing, where I look at things I can interact with, my head turns. Square? Actually, can I... And pressing start is just hard pause. Uh, select? Nothing. I don't have anything in either inventory. You'll notice the, the squares in the lower left and right sides of the screen get darker, depending on whether I'm holding L1 or R1. That's me alternating them. Yeah, no, that's it. The only button I can use is X. Let's get out of here. Do I... I'm not coming back without my things. Where are my things? I don't believe I can uh, manipulate the camera either. The school installed that here in case a fire started. I thought fire hoses were supposed to be long. I have another one right here. Damn. Are these flashy thingies? Maybe not. It is just deathly quiet. Damn. That must be Ashley calling me. I should have turned off my cell phone. Uh we're not gonna pick it up? Okay. Bye. We're, we're just not picking up. Oh, it's there. Okay. Hello? Kenny, you were supposed to call. Did you forget about our date? Ashley, no. 
You know me better than that. I just finished practice. Just a quick shower and I'll be right there. The hell? Good. And don't be late this time. See you, baby. Okay, I'll be right there. That was maximum stealth right there. Hey, what the? Where's my bag? Oh, man. Also, too bad that Ashley didn't get that whoosh zoom in and um introduction like everyone else did because she's the fifth character. I don't know if she's necessarily number five, but she is a character that makes up five. Square? What? That's a that's my unique ability. What is my unique ability? Reading. But then again, it's over here. I can't freaking see, man. Do I have to mash square to like find out how it's used? I don't know what I'm supposed to be looking at to make square work. I don't know what my ability is. Oh. Oh, it's sprint. Well, don't I feel silly? I thought it was contact sensitive, but nope. Let's uh catch the guy who did this, I guess. Whoa. Whoa, those lights. I hope I have infinite stamina, by the way. I really... I do not. Wow, that did not last. I'm a freaking athlete, and I can't make it from one end of the basketball court to the other. All basketball players do is run laps around the court. But now I could go into here. I can't use the excuse of needing my stuff, because this might be where I get my stuff. What the hell? I always like it when you see stuff like the 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 flies or I guess the moths uh floating around the lights. I think I might have first seen that in Code Veronica, maybe. I don't know if I necessarily have a reason to run. I mean, other than to just clear the screen more quickly for my personal satisfaction. Can I read that? Oh, gymnasium. I get the feeling I don't want to go in there because I just came from there. Okay, that's just a window. Also, can I use my other buttons now? Nope. Whoa. Boarding school. The door's jammed. So it won't budge. Lock with the padlock, and now I get a Silent Hill screenshot. <laughs> Alright. Do I go back into the gym from the other side? This door must be locked. You know, maybe it's... I thought I heard something. Maybe it's just my own footsteps. What if I go this way? No, it's still just a wall. Unless, is this something? Yeah, that's hard to see. You can't blame me for that one. It is way dark, though. I mean, you can see through the... Can't you? No, I guess you really can't. Alright, fair enough. Oh god, this is very dark. I don't like this. We just immediately start the game by going into a dark basement. I can't see a damn thing. I might actually have to adjust my TV's brightness. This is brutal. I'm looking at something. The sticky tape can be used to join two weapons together. Press X to continue. Okay. Oh, flashlight. Well, this will help. But just a gun? Just immediately? 
Combine the weapon and the flashlight. A Doom Space Marine couldn't do this, but I can. In Doom 3, they, they jokingly called it like the duct tape mod, but in this game, I actually am using tape <laughs> to stick a flashlight to a gun. Okay, hold L2. Left analog stick. Oh, it's up and down. Got it. Press X to activate the menu. Tape the lamp to the... What is this, an adventure game? Like an old adventure game? Use item on... Alright, so... Got it. Oh, I have to... Yeah, I did that. Now what do I do? R2 as well? Okay, now the right analog stick. Press X to confirm the assembly. Okay, did it. Let's go. I have a gun with a flashlight taped to it. It was just that easy, Doom Space Marine. It was that easy. This is almost actually unbelievable. Well, we're down. It's freaking creepy down here. It is frigging creepy down here. Oh god, I hate walking toward the camera. What? <laughs> Suddenly, alone in the dark. What the hell? This is actually creepy. Hold R1 to aim at an enemy. Okay. Hold L1 to activate the boost. Watch the temperature gauge. Oh, I see. The temperature gauge to the right of the gun. So, uh, move over, Alan Wake. We were doing this back on the PS2. So when the thing is full, wait until the bulb cools down before using boost mode again. Okay. Thank you for the tutorial. Actually useful. What is this? Okay, I can move while aiming. Move over Resident Evil 4. But I, the reason I was looking is that this is a big metal door with a valve on it to open. Like, this is off of our school? Oh, that's cool. I can actually push these objects. That's great. That is a cage on the ceiling. Can I? Yeah, I can aim with a stick. That's great. Move over, Resident Evil everything. I can free aim. No 45 degree angle for me. I can actually go in degrees in between. Syringes. Weird products. Sure. Ugh, I really would like free camera control. I actually quite like that I could aim even while not aiming, if that makes sense. I could do this with a flashlight. Silent Hill fan? I, I know it's a regular industrial fan, but Silent Hill really pushed their use. Cages again. Lots of cages. I wonder what all these cages were used for. Yeah, there's a thousand cages. What even is Where is this light coming from? If the game is this dark, it's going to be genuinely difficult to figure out how to get anywhere, because I can't freaking see. What could be behind this door? In any case, it's shut. Yeah, if only there were a way to open closed doors. Whoa, whoa. I guess this is a dead end. Y you can't tell. Here we go. Okay, this actually opens. There was a hole here. It's still here. I can't look at that. That's, that's not interesting. This inexplicable just hole in the room. Door's locked. It's closed. Another door.
out of work. Don't. Th this is very hard to read. Don't blame me. I didn't vote somebody. And there's all these tally marks on the wall. So what, what is this? Like a, a not jail cell? Okay. Hi. You have to be really desperate to dare sleep in there. Okay. Don't abandon me, whatever you do. He's nuts. I won't. The freed student, that's, that really is a student, jeez, is now your teammate. Press circle to take control. And yeah, if, if I have a friend with me, then this is the opportunity to press start on the second player's controller. This game probably is more fun two player. So, boop, I'm just him now. Completely seamless. Even Resident Evil Zero had minor loading time. I cannot control Dan, but I can influence him. Help me. Follow me. I can actually switch his weapon. Let's stay together. I can't press the, the left D-pad, but that does do something. But I'll go with follow me, I guess. Strange that his door was just open. Yeah, we can leave no problem. He always hides a gun in here. Oh. Okay, Dan's got a gun now. I very much like that my friend kind of aims where I'm aiming, so I get a little bit of light. But yeah, both characters have guns. Actually, regarding Dan. Old pistol, 15 shots. Old pistol, 15 shots. We're, we're doing this fairly. Alright. Let's get on out of here. Oh my god, I'm out of here. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. What the hell? Great, we got an enemy here, too. Nope, sorry. Where, where was the entrance? Nope, 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 nope. Are you serious? I have to do this now? I still can't open the door. Whoa, are you? By the way, when you enter a door, the other player just follows, even on two player, so I'm free. Or, so Dan's free. Dan should be right here. Are you kidding me? Oh no. By the way, one thing I should point out about this game, I could have died, and we still would have ended the prologue. You can lose characters in this game. But I won? So, tell me, how was your date? Kenny didn't come home last night. You guys must have had a wild time. Yeah, right. If I see that guy, he's gonna get it. What did he do? He stood me up. I'm getting fed up with your brother. But then... If he wasn't with you, maybe you... You think that something happened to him? And Josh? Where's Josh? The principal's always watching us like a hawk. Come on, hurry up. He even got the hawk nose. Mr. Garrison, lock the gates and send the latecomers to my office. Oh, that's the principal, okay. Yes, take advantage of the sunshine while it lasts. Well, that's openly weird. Please sit down and be quiet. Hey ladies, what are you so gloomy about? 
Kenny's disappeared. You wouldn't know anything about it, would you? No, I spent the whole night working on my movie. Nobody's seen him since last night. I'm really starting to get worried. I know. Aliens beamed him up to their ship, did some experiments on him, and finally killed him. Josh? Please Josh, shut up. Man. All right. This morning, we are going to talk about... I think about we genetics. better call the cops. What do you think? Hey, if he doesn't show up, let's meet at the cafeteria at six and go look for him. At six? But the cops would tell my parents. Great. My first real investigation. Well, this guy really leans into his one character quirk, doesn't he? <laughs> That's an old style flip clock. We're leaving in five minutes anyway. Quit it, Josh. This is no time for that. Yeah, this isn't Michigan Report from Hell. We need to record our investigation. Quiet, someone's there. It's locked. It's okay. It's just a janitor. But how are we supposed to get out now? And now we're introduced to a new mechanic, I think. I found an old map of the school. This should help us. Oh, thank God. You're only allowed to bring two characters with you at a time, but you can have gathering points where you can choose who you want your partner to be. I should see what each person's special quirk is. I can press select now, and we have a an actual proper map. I could even select... I don't know what selecting the rooms would do for me, unless help is about those rooms. Circle goes back to the gathering point. Well, I mean, that's this here. L1 and R1 tabs. Displays the menu for the building selected. X. Doesn't really do anything for me. Oh. Press square to check a room out. He has a lively, inventive, and curious spirit. Sometimes too much so was surprised, searching around the Professor Culgan's office. 1985 and 1986, jeez. 1985, these people are my age. Uh, excellent student, well done, but beware. Giving good advice to friends during exams will not be tolerated, so she gives advice. She's the hint character, I guess. And she cares better than anybody, 25% recovery, or plus 25%. Whereas Josh has journalism, he finds clues and objects. And Ashley... Progress made, long way to go. R1 and square for a special attack. She has self-defense. So what do I value more, right? Hints or self-defense? Uh, that's actually tough. That's actually tough. How do I back out? Triangle. I might actually go with Shannon for this one, though. I think we have to pick this lock. Yeah, just immediately. I'm not even out of the text box, and she says I think we have to pick this lock. That's freaking amazing. You can give orders to them using the directional buttons. Oh, here we go. We've already experimented with this. Right is follow. Left is stay. Okay. Up is help me. And down swaps the weapons. Useful. Useful. And I've already pressed select for the, the map, so that's been useful. Now I do immediately see this. Oops. Can't quite reach it. A baseball bat. I can break things with that. Okay, very straightforward. Also, I think the vending machine's out of order. But I'm not sure if it is. Now it's out of order. This is actually kind of awesome. But more importantly, I can actually take the drink. An energy drink. How do I use... Oh, okay, L2. Okay, there we go. This moody music. It's about Shannon herself. Beauty tips from Ashley Thompson. Ah, oh, that's great. So about Ashley as well. Fashion with Shannon Matthews. Stan Jones plans. Shannon Matthews carried the Ledmore colors high. She won the final of Champion Genius Broadcast. Oh, she carried the Leafmore colors high. That's where we would go Leafmore High School, I guess. That was it. Oh, and I can relook at it. 
Okay. Glass door. Also, what am I looking at here? This lock looks easy. But first. This is something I actually really like. I've only ever otherwise seen this in Siren 2. But I can reach over the door to unlock it once I've broken the glass window, which is awesome. Also, I just realized, well, I'm in a closet, so I could pop back out anyway. But first, a reel of wire. Otherwise, that's it. But I noticed something very important. Here. Let's you save when you wish. So these are the ink ribbons of the game. When I use the disc, it's gone. But apparently I can save anywhere. Anywhere. Except for the final fight, according to the instruction manual. But that's kind of awesome. This lock looks easy. Yeah, but how do I... Do I press square to do it? There's nothing left for us here. Oh, that's his own... Okay, Shannon? I think we have to pick this lock. Press select... I did. Yeah. Is Ashley the one who picks the lock or what? I think I can pick this. Oh, she's the one who can and could could Josh as well? Or is it just a Shannon thing? This lock looks easy. Yeah, how do you actually pick it? Cause that's that's dumb. <laughs> Oh, okay. It's the reel of wire. Hold down X to force a lock. Maybe I should have looked at his description first. Oh, God. This will be horrible when enemies are chasing us. <laughs> what a nightmare. I can see this game being tough, but I get to keep the reel of wire. Let's open up. I'm going to be using this map religiously, um, let me tell you. That startled me. What did I just hear? Also, can I... I'm actually curious. Can I see my direction? Like, do I know what direction I'm facing? Oh, I could just return to the gathering point? That's freaking amazing. I wonder if that works if enemies are there. Is there a way I could see which way I'm facing, though? Spooky music just as I unpause. Or unmap. Whoa. Welcome to the Spencer Mansion. But jeez, this is eerie. Oh, hello. Just say no. I mean, it says in the subtitle for drugs, but I'll have to take its word for it. I don't really get that from the poster, although usually that's implied. Oh, I see a glowy. A map. Oh, hey, look, it's me, your best friend, a map. And now I can actually see what direction I'm facing, which is very nice. This is great. Are you kidding me? This is amazing. I can't move the stick around to see this, but that's probably all I need, right? Now, how do I, like, back up? I guess I'm just stuck looking at the building that I'm in. Oh! Okay. Oh, God. So, if this is just the particular area I'm in with a bunch of rooms, but then there's all these areas... This, this could make me a little nervous. Right, let's keep moving. Well, ah, jeez. I can definitely see this game getting scary with the camera angles, because some of these areas where you transition screens are not obvious at all. Also, now that I'm here, are those little curvy things, like the one right next to me, is that indicative of a door? I'm not 100% about that. Maybe it is. Oh, it's the boys' room, I guess. 
Before I do any of that, because bathrooms are the scariest things in video games, these lockers are filthy, let's go in here. Is there a reason there's a full-on old-timey chandelier in this school? This is bizarre. Sticky tape, which will be very useful. I can stick the baseball bat to itself by wrapping the tape around the bat and accomplishing nothing. Okay, that's a little nothing. Also, is this anything? Yes, the basketball game schedule. The sharks, sharks are the best. Okay. I'll 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 take their word for it. Thank you. I'm assuming it's the ladies' room because this is the. No, this is boys and girls. Boys' room. This place also sucks. I'm sorry about the flashing lights. An energy drink. I'm gonna leave now. This room is awful. Girls room. Don't worry, Shannon's with me, it's fine. Girls room's cleaner. Kind of, there's still graffiti. Where is that draft? Whoa, I've never been in the girls' room. Whoever put up this poster thinks we were invaded by extraterrestrials. Another paranoiac. There's a word I don't really see often. Also, this place stinks. The, the handwritten stuff, this guy is crazy. The handwritten stuff, though, like some of this is very hard to read. And I'm upscaling this on like on, on HDTV, so this is kind of rough to see, but it's fine. Oh, we don't even ask. I just push her up. That's it. Do I press X again? Oh, can't be open without a tool. Try and go put her back down. Okay. We'll be back. Do we mark this on our map by any chance? Oh, are you kidding me? And we're doing the doors that you can actually open versus not. I love when games do this. Like the Silent Hill thing, it's like the best part of the game. All right, let's get out of here. That's actually a glitch. For a second, I thought there was a scary effect with that stall door. Don't worry, it's fine. Locked. Oh well. Can I... Also locked. Might as well just mark it on my map though, right? I can't believe like this is the school. Is this like Resident Evil 2 where the police station was like an appropriated art museum? This school's an appropriated Spencer mansion? And it keeps going up? How big is this school? Well, let's make this easy. Oh, it's so dark. This is annoying. Locked. Oh, cool. Okay. It doesn't even loop around? What an inconveniently designed school. Students are going to have to clash with each other when they change classes and have to enter and leave the, the building. Locked. Locked. Let's see what's in here. Let's see what's in here. But this game is keeping it very simple for me at start. Sharks, our star basketball team. Well, that's cool. It actually, says it out loud. Whoa. Are you kidding me? That is very creepy. Although, real quick. Also, it just occurred to me, by the way. Yeah, no, we're good. But I did miss something. Just for the doors, just fine. Little flavor. The Beauty Club organizes an evening presentation of cosmetic products. And it's Ashley. 
The instruction manual says, despite her being beautiful and a member of the salon club, she's not easily impressed. I, I thought for sure I could easily impress her because she's a member of the salon club. I'm sorry for judging. I like that glass breaking effect. It's actually nice. I hope the principal doesn't get mad. Like, remember, we have not encountered anything... Well, a little bit supernatural. We got a taste. But as far as we're aware, we're just in school after hours. And we're just breaking glass in the doors and opening stuff. This is absurd. I probably am going to save soon. The only thing that makes me nervous is that once I do, I'm out. I'm out of save items. Can I read that? There's something conspicuously on that desk. Is that nothing? Alright. What about this one? There's a brightly lit. A screwdriver was lost in this room during the renovation work. Please let me know if you find it. Thank you, Mr. Garrison. Could that be a hint for something? Oh my goodness. Oh, look at that. You see the tracks? It's like Silent Hill 2. And there's no button prompt. I just walk into it and push. Thanks for your help, by the way, Shannon. I mean, I guess the bookshelf's about as wide as I am, so what are you going to do, but... Oh, no. I wanted to see if I would just stop pushing it, or if I keep trying to push into nothing. And it turns out, I keep trying to push into nothing. Oh, well. But... There's the screwdriver. Oops. See, that could get frustrating. I meant to go around the bookshelf. You could see very little camera movement, but I felt a bit of a rumble, too. And again. Huh, that was weird. Anyway. Oh, just the theme of the hallway. Jeez, it's so over the top. There's that vent. We've already been over that, but this time, screwdriver. Well, no need to use it, but in a case, can I actually still use it even if, like, we're doing that? I think we're good, actually. Oh, interesting. The screwdriver and the reel of wire are both my sneak into items. Oh, that's cool. I could get used to this mechanic. Again, it feels very adventure game. But that's still pretty cool. So, can I just go in now? I, I actually have to... I shouldn't have backed up. I wasn't thinking. Let's go in. It's dark in here. Don't even think about it. <laughs> that's amazing. And according to a guide, if I were using Shannon and Ashley, so no Josh, there would just be no dialogue. So it's just like, don't be creepy that you're in this dark vent with me freaking weirdo sorry man i wasn't gonna do anything so nope uh ashley <laughs> or uh shannon could you it's even dirtier than the boys toilets that's okay <laughs> which is kind of funny by the way because we're no longer in the girls bathroom where this is not the boys or the girls bathroom so the implication is that this is the teacher's bathroom so that's disgusting energy drink All right, I'm only gonna advance just a little more but we can whoa these freaking camera angles the teacher's lucky enough to have individual showers yeah lucky I sure love showering in school at work like I'm not a gym teacher by the way can I just say props like, major props for the game still not throwing monsters at us. We did for the prologue, of course. This is a horror game, did you know? But look at how far I've come in Chapter 1 with no monsters. No scares. Like, I actually appreciate this. We're really building up. Um, what's this? 
the teacher's magazine. Ten ways to tame your students. To tame them. If I were a student and found this, I'd be pretty pissed off. Uh, keep your distance. Acknowledge efforts made. That's on the right page. Uh, the left page. Teach well. More and more teachers complain about a lack of respect from their students. Uh, stay zen. Evade to win? To know to avoid the most... The something by students? This is very hard to read. Uh, make confidence, or have confidence in yourself to show them any signs of weakness. Jeez. I don't know what that 37% thing is, but that's kind of funny. So the teachers are just like in this area. Like this is the teacher's area, I assume. Just learning, like, how do I handle these kids? This is brutal. A rusty key. Could probably open an old door. Yeah, with this game, if a door can be picked, you saw in the beginning, it'll just tell you. If a door is locked, I think you're out of luck. But if there's something where, like, I can't pick it, but I could probably open it, then I guess it's an old key or a rusty key, just like uh, in Resident Evil 1. I don't know why that message is still here. There. You happy? There. The message went away. Jeez. And it's like an old-timey key, too. Note for the Ministry of Health. Please note, the result of the free sale of energy drinks is an acceleration in nerve exchanges between the brain and the muscles and an increase in intellectual performance. Be aware. What? Well, uh, I have to actually press down. I pressed X, but it just kicked me out. That the absorption of energy drinks causes addiction in the majority of consumers. Also, October... Janvier or Hanvier? Avril? What is this? Like, that is not English. Uh, also, 2003. Uh, that this product also causes serious headaches and intestinal pains in vulnerable persons. For these reasons, we order that the sale and consumption of energy drinks are prohibited in all school establishments effective today. Well, don't worry, I didn't buy it. I broke into that vending machine. But I'm prohibited from consuming them. That's a problem. Any contravention will be punished. But I've never heard that before. I've heard of contraband, but contravention will be punished by the law, in effect, on the same basis as for drugs traffickers. Whoa! Okay. Calm down. Locked. And we have a, a straight-up old-timey security camera here. Like a Metal Gear Solid 1 security camera. And a picture of Abe Lincoln. Sorry, not Abe Lincoln. Hey, Blinken. Otherwise, that's the door I came in. Oh wait, this is something. No, it's not. Goodbye. Oh, loading for going all the way upstairs. Fair enough. A second disc? This is where I'm going to save and quit, but I'll at least check the room first. Old-timey CRT monitors, 2003. A teacher forgot his notebook. Oh, boy. Rachel da Damien, I guess? Helen jo Josh. X is for everything? I don't know what that is. Like, oh, oh, A's are absent on the left page, I guess. So Josh is perfect attendance. B minus B, B plus B. Hard worker. Okay, okay. Uh, Adam, Nancy, Peter, Stan. I'm absent a freaking ton. D minus FF. God damn. And a blank for the final grade? <laughs> that was a joke in Animal House, right? Like, you do not have a GPA. Uh, unexcused absences. Oof. Sorry. Mary Kenny. Suddenly absent by the end. C, C plus, C, I think it's a plus. C plus for sure, and then C minus. Disappeared? Shannon, A, A minus, A, B plus. Excellent in all caps. And then Ashley, absent only once, B, B plus, B plus, A minus. Good student. Okay. So we're all in the same class by coincidence? That's kind of cool, actually. I, li I like the little flavor. That's actually pretty great.
This guy looks like our principal, but younger. But why two photos? Is he a megalomaniac or what? I mean, come on. Like, twins, right? That's gonna be a big plot twist. There were two of them. Like, like dude. <laughs> it's even a single photo that's a double photo. Like, it's a long single frame for them and everything. It's twins. I don't know the plot of this game at all. It's twins. I'm telling you. Um... This rusty key must open some old door around here. You know what, Shannon? This is why I keep you around. You're super useful. And remember, by the way, I should point out, not that I'm needing to go back anytime soon, but I can just teleport back to the beginning of the game right now. Um, Maybe we could find the papers for our next class exams. That's my priority. Although, to be fair... Need some help? Yeah, yeah, yeah. To be fair, there really isn't a problem yet, though. Like, not really, so I don't mind. God, everything's so damn dark. I hope their meals are better than what the cafeteria serves us. Alright, nothing here, nothing here. Oh, hello. It's the key to the teacher's room. Okay. Alright, and this is where I would leave, but I'm not going to do that just now. I will instead use a disc. I have two. Save. It's so cool that you could just do that. I'm curious as to where I'm going to end up when I load the game. Am I going to spawn literally right here, or will I be at the beginning of the room, okay, or what? It's recorded. Also, by the way, I don't know if it's because it had to make a save file on my memory card when I manipulated the options menu, but saving the actual game took no time, which is kind of funny. But for now, it's time to stop the installment. Well, we certainly made a lot of progress today, didn't we? We made it through the prologue, and we got introduced to, I think, most of the characters... I forgot if Dan was one of the big five, but in any case, it did not look like things went well for Kenny and Dan. But the remaining three are on the case. I think they're the remaining three. I think they're on the case. Let's hope things go okay. Until next time, everyone.